Canada Pakistan Business Council is mandated to promote bilateral trade between Canada and Pakistan. This year we celebrated our 36th anniversary. So it's been in existence for the last many years. I have immigrated to Canada 20 years ago, so I've been an integral part of that organization. And our role is to create positive energies between, uh, between companies in Canada and between companies in Pakistan to see how we can leverage and we connect. So it's not necessarily restricted just to the construction industry. Having said that, my role here today at this, this exhibition addressing the light gauge steel framing technology and construction related in the Naya Dor Pakistan. First of all, I want to congratulate the Prime Minister for the effort and the initiative of the Naya, Naya Pakistan housing projects and the scheme. Five million homes is is not an easy task, but they a challenge. We are all there to support that initiative. So here's what, what we have been doing. Uh, we have, for the last one, one, one and a half year, we have been leveraging and helping connect a lot of construction-related industries in Canada who wanted to do something in Pakistan. So we've actually helped them connect either through the BOI, the Canadian High Commissioner, the Pakistani High Commissioner, the Federation of Pakistan Chamber of Commerce, the Karachi Chamber of Commerce, and all the allied construction-related bodies. And that's that's what 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 we will we will do. Uh, later on, you will see that uh, Dr. Murtza Heather will talk about urban planning. Uh, he will probably cover the light gauge, but he will also talk about uh, the construction industries and how how effectively the latest technologies of today in the smart city and and the, and the technological advancement of how to plan a better urban cities because you know, five million here is going to be spread all over the the country and I think that's where we need to go. The most important thing is that we हम lack करते हैं थोड़ा and I think it's important that the industry the industry should engage uh, with with the construction industry the development industry uh, because that's where the partnerships happen that's where success stories happen because somebody has to give all these people a job and in in trying to do that how do you do it you you request the construction industry to interact through uh, universities through educational institutions through vocational institutions to connect and to support each other and that's where the success will will happen it's it's not easy it's a commitment we have to all make that commitment if we don't make that commitment nothing's going to happen um ki baat hoti hai i you may think that i i'm talking Really, I am a firm believer that it all starts with conversation, but it should not just end in conversation. There should be concrete steps that, that happen. And, and to my credit, a lot of work that we have done in the Canada-Pakistan Business Council, we've tried to go from the conversation to the execution of different projects at different level. Canada-Pakistan Business Council will be happy to facilitate. You heard me just talk about uh, Ryerson University and Seneca College and the Brock University and, and research and development. And I think we can, we can facilitate, we can support and through strategic partners like uh, like the Sarsayir, the NED, the Build Asia, and the Corporate Pakistan Group and the Nutshell Conferences, we will be happy to facilitate. Uh, I'm hoping that next year uh, we will be able to bring uh, Mr. Rocco Rossi. Mr. Rocco Rossi is the President and CEO of the Ontario Chamber of Commerce. So very, very powerful body. Unke, he represents that, he's the head. Along with him, we will probably get the Vice President as well to visit Pakistan and to talk about how we can leverage uh, relationships in doing bilateral trade between between Canada and Pakistan. So there, there, there are two roles. One, one is a, 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 a role as the exhibition, which is fine, and and I and I'm pleased to see the the strong initiative that they are taking in creating business uh, partners to create conferences and to create awareness. This is the best way to bring people to create energies, to create positive energy to say, okay, let's do something. Better than any other question. You have to, you have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to step out of your comfort zone to make a difference. Or when I was in the road, president of the Rotary Club of Richmond Hill, I used to close my remarks by saying to engage people. But my motto continues to be the same: is together we can make a difference. And I will end with that note: together we can make a difference. Thank you very much.